morning, students. Today we're going to be talking about weather and climate. Today the weather is... <laughs> okay! Okay! What is the difference between weather and climate? This question can be answered in our unit over investigating water and weather patterns. First off, we're going to talk about climate. Climate is weather information that describes the weather for a specified length of time, usually 30 years, and will, will include information about weather extremes. Characteristics of weather are used to describe climate. So when you're describing weather or climate, you're gonna use words such as temperature, precipitation, humidity, air pressure. Those words describe both weather and climate. Climatologists depend on large amounts of data collected over a long period of time to determine if the current weather patterns are usual or not. So we know that climate happens over at least 30 years. So you're gonna have a lot of data with the weather that occurred each and every day. And so with that large amount of data, climatologists can determine if the current weather patterns are usual or not. Scientists study climate to look for patterns or cycles of patterns. And they look for those patterns in the wind, changes in wind patterns. Also changes in the ocean surface temperatures and precipitation over the equatorial region of the Pacific Ocean. Scientists study climate to understand how cycles and patterns may fit into the bigger picture of long-term or more permanent climate changes. So climate change is described in terms of years, decades, or even centuries. Our climate won't change after one day. It has to show that it had a pattern over a long period of time, 30 years, decades, or even centuries. Sometimes you'll hear the word or the words, global climate. What does that mean? Worldwide averages are commonly used to describe global climate. Global climate can change, but it does not occur easily or quickly. Regional averages may vary without impacting global change. Hmm, let me give you an example of that. So for example, if the climate of Alaska becomes warmer and the climate of Texas becomes cooler, the global average may not change. The cooling of one area may offset the warming of another. Okay, that makes sense. However, if Alaska keeps warming more and it's not balanced by other areas that cool down, then the global climate may warm. And it does appear that a warming trend has been the case over the past century, which is the past hundred years. So what is the key difference between weather and climate? Hmm, I think you know. The key difference between weather and climate is time. Climate is over a long period of time, usually around 30 years. Now let's talk about weather. Weather is the information that describes the conditions in the atmosphere at a particular time and place, including temperature, wind, cloud cover, precipitation, and humidity. The weather in Bastrop, Texas today. And today is May the 11th. 2020. Hmm. Do you remember what the weather was in May of 2020? Well, it's 82 degrees and it's partly cloudy. The wind is southeast at nine miles per hour, humidity at 46%. The dew point is 59 degrees. The pressure is 30 and 11 hundredths inches. Visibility is 10 miles. And if we look at the radar, there's not much cloud coverage even though it says it's partly cloudy. The weather is what's happening right now, what's happening today. What is the weather like today where you live? Weather depends on four main factors and any changes in these four factors will affect the type of weather an area will experience. The first one is winds. Of course, the amount of wind in an area 
is going to affect the weather in that area. Moisture, so the amount of water that's either in the air or if you are near a body of water, that's going to affect your weather. Heat energy, energy from the sun that warms the temperatures of our planet, definitely play a part in the weather that you experience. And the last one is air pressure. Air pressure is also a factor that weather depends on. Weather data is shown on weather maps using symbols. Sunshine, meaning it's a sunny day. A sun behind a cloud, meaning partly sunny. And then we see different images for a cold front or a warm, warm front. Weather measurements have been recorded for only about 200 years. So when climatologists are using their data, they only have about 200 years of information to draw from. So as we get more and more information over time, climatologists will be better able to study our climate. So what is the difference between weather and climate? Do you think you know? Okay, let's see. Climate. Climate is the general pattern of weather in an area over a long period of time, 30 years or more, many decades. Decades is 10 years. And weather is the day-to-day -day conditions of the atmosphere in an area. Weather has short-term variations. For example, weather can change from minute to minute, day to day, or week to week. So what is the difference between weather and climate? Time. Good job, guys. Hi, students. I hope you learned a lot about weather and climate today. And I hope you know, if I haven't told you this already in the school year, as scientists get more data, if they conduct more trials, then their results are gonna be more accurate. Their outcomes are going to be more accurate. And so we will see what climatologists think about our weather here in Bastrop over a long period of time to determine our climate.